J. Cole has a response to Kendrick Lamar, ladies and gentlemen. It was just two weeks ago when Kendrick Lamar said it ain't no big three. It's just a big me on a record call like that. Well, Cole's got a response as Cole drops a warning tape before his album to fall off. This one's called I Might Delete Later. Cole also got some warning bars for Kendrick Lamar on a record called Seven Minute Drill. No need to waste your time. I know you're on your grind. Feral Lyrical Miracle Breakdown. This is what the boy Cole had to say. Light work like it's PWC. It's a cold world. Keep the heat on your seat. I got a phone call that says somebody listen. You want some attention? It come with extensions. My dog says say the world. He on booze and he itching. Then put in so much work in these streets. He got pitching. I told him chill out. How it look having a henchman. If shots get to popping, I'm the one doing the clinching. And in this verse, be clear. This is cold coming at KDOT. He said, I came up in the Ville, so I'm good with the tension. He's still doing shows, but it fell off like The Simpsons. Your first year was classic. Your last year was tragic. Your second year put niggas to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third year was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and now I just hit mine. Now I'm in front of the line with a comfortable lead. How I run it as soon as I got it. Now he wants something with me. Well, he caught me at the perfect time. Just jump up and see. Boy, I got here off a of bar. It's not no controversy. Funny thing about it, bitch, I don't even want the prestige. Fuck the Grammys, because them crackers ain't never done nothing for me. Slug took my nigga's soul. Drugs took another one. This rap beef ain't realer than with the shit I seen on Cumberland. He averaging one hard verse like every 30 months or something. If he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing him. Lord, don't make me have to smoke this nigga because I fuck with him. But push come to shove on his mic, I will humble him. And then later on in verse number two, Cole came back with more in the direction of K-Dot. He said, my text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply. I'm hesitant. I love my brother, but I'm not going to lie. I'm powered up for real. This shit would feel like swatting a fly for albums in 12 years, nigga. I can divide. Shit, if this what you want, I'm indulging in violence. Put pictures in my home. Aim the crowd at your eyelids, fly pebbles at your dome. We the stone temple pilots. This is merely a warning shot to back niggas down. If you are like me and love flexing your NBA knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports. That's Underdog Fantasy. For me, I love the pick'em game. It's super simple to play too. All you gotta do is go to the Underdog Fantasy website or app, pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game, get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use my code FERRO, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy's website or app. Use my code FERRO and your first deposit will get doubled. Do you want to see your favorite athlete live in action next time they're in your town? Or do you want to see your favorite artist performing in concert next time they're in a city near you? Head over to the SeatGeek website or app and use my code HoopsFaro for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you subscribe to the Is Mr. Telefero YouTube channel. And hey, donate a super chat. Follow me on Facebook at Is Mr. Telefero. Cop a supporter badge. The Underdog Fantasy promo code is Faro. The SeatGeek promo code is HoopsFaro. And follow me on Twitter at It's Mr. Faro. Uh-oh, J. Cole. That dude is really coming for the crown. That was my bar at the end there. That is J. Cole on a record called Seven Minute Drill on a mixtape that Cole dropped in the wee hours of the night entitled I Might Delete Later. For those who are not familiar with Seven Minute Drill, I did a little bit of homework. Apparently, this is a war term, right, in which two parties are even questioning should they even meet? Like, what is this meeting going to get us? So when you hear the record entitled Seven Minute Drill, the first thing I thought is, oh, I see on Twitter that Cole's coming back at KDOT. He's about to diss this dude for seven minutes, but in all actuality, it's only a three and a half minute record. The Seven Minute Drill is a reference to Kendrick and Cole, who these are guys that have, I'm sure have been at least a little more than cordial with one another over the years. Some would say friends. I don't know how specific and how relation these two good guys got, but I do know that there were talks of a mixtape between the two. So this is Cole saying, should I even do this? And I think it's even a double entendre because I believe maybe just maybe the next time Kendrick says, uncle, Cole may really come with a seven minute record in the direction of KDOT. Let me just stop and say this. I love this. And let me reiterate what I said after Kendrick dropped like that. 
Drake is probably a $400 million entity, maybe even more than that. Kendrick is probably a $150 million entity with Cole right behind that. These dudes are incredibly rich. That's important to note for the young bulls out there. Y'all in the hood beefing over crumbs. These dudes got lump sums, all right? This is not going further than bars, most likely. And I need the young bulls out there to know that because this is the competitive sport that we call rap. Yes, there is a chance that things go left, but for the most part, these dudes all understand that they're family men, that they're multi-millionaires, that they're generational curse breakers. This is just rap. This is the competitive sport I like. We're talking about rap music, ladies and gentlemen. In 2024 again, I felt like over the last couple years, we have been talking about how many female rappers can twerk and ride a beat. We back talking about the dudes, the big three at that. Kendrick said there is no big three. Cole said, well, actually, you're right. It's the big me. And if you won't smoke with me, I'm ready. This is not a Drake response. I believe like that was mostly about Drake from Kendrick Lamar. Cole is saying, well, I'm around Drake. So I feel like you shot at me as well. It was my verse. It was my line that said, is it k Dot? is it Cole or is it Aubrey? So I feel like you coming at me. I love this. And for anybody out there that's saying J. Cole didn't come back at Kendrick Lamar with enough, I respectfully disagree. Cole is spitting. I do not like this beat whatsoever, but Cole is going at Kendrick. And again, he lets you know this is merely a warning shot to call your bluff, to see did you really want to smoke with me or did you just try to gain a little bit of motion and traction since your last album, according to J. Cole, was tragic. And by the way, Cole even gave Kendrick his plot props in this when he said your first stuff was classic. Again, the last one was tragic. Your second one put niggas to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third one he's talking about damn was massive. I want to stop real quick and, and, and speak on to pimp a butterfly because I also like Cole did not love to pimp a butterfly. I remember when this album dropped like it was yesterday. I was in Panama City, Florida, enjoying my spring break. And one of my partners put this album on. I cut it off immediately. I think I had a titty in my mouth on the beach. I was not about to listen to this dick ain't free. It went for me. It wasn't for me. I didn't I, at that point in my life. I just no. And, and it wasn't for me so much that I never went back to it at all. Never felt the need. I'm good. We going to be all right. Classic song to pimp a butterfly. Incredibly overrated. I didn't like that one. And I didn't like for your eyes only from Cole either. But with that being said, y'all got to let me know. What y'all think about J. Cole's response to Kendrick Lamar? I mean, he's talking. I mean, clear, this man is talking. This is not, this dude is ready. Like, I, I, I gotta be honest with y'all, I'm shocked that Cole responded to Kendrick. But a lot of people believe there was no way Cole could go on with his mixtape and then album. You've been saying you the top dog for months now. Damn near maybe a couple years. Cole's got a festival in, in, in Fayetteville this weekend called Dreamville. This tape was strategically dropped. And I don't think it's an accident that Cole said, while I got a tape dropping, while my festival's this weekend, I'm going to go ahead and respond to dude on a record entitled Seven Minute Drill. Time, love, and support. It's what your boy will never take for granted. Yeah, this is what we want, ladies and gentlemen. The best of the best competing. We never got to see LeBron versus Kobe in the finals. We never got to see it. Drake, Cole, and Kendrick are arguably still in their primes. And now it appears that we are gearing towards throw Drake to the side. He's still deep, bit dissing Kanye somewhere in the world. But maybe, just maybe, we got Cole versus Kendrick. Let me know your thoughts. Time, love, and support is what your boy would never take for granted. Salute. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs when I believe I can build my own? You've already done it. Oh, I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly 
means everything to me. I tell stories. I talk music. I cover sports. I am culture. I am Pharaoh.